Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be changing the low beam headlamp bulb on a 2010 Subaru Forester. So let's take a quick look um, how you know it's your low beam bulb, all right? And, uh, so here we go. So if we come down here, I know it's hard to see it's sunny, but you can see this bulb's on, right? And I have my low beams on on my car. And this one isn't on. So I'm going to have my friend over here, my wife, flick my high beams on and we can see what those look like. Okay. All right, let's keep them on. There you go. Now this is on and this one's on. So our high beams and I'll turn them off. There we go. And we're back to having the low beam on no low beam on here all right so what we're going to be doing is i'll show you how to change this uh, so let's get started i'll go over the tools and i'll show you where you need to be working all right so it's the driver's side bulb that's out so we're going to change that one first and then i'm going to show you how to change the other one because i just always like to change both bulbs at the same time uh, that way you just have two new bulbs all right so here we are we're looking at the engine you know like i said it's the driver's side light and we're going to come around all right and here's your battery and where you're going to be working is right here. Let's see if I can get it in closer. All right, let's bring it in here. Right next to your windshield washer fluid, there's going to be this little thing here, this little knob, all right? Now, this isn't threaded. It's just a twist on and twist off. So you're going to twist this off. And then right behind there, you'll see the bulb. So let me get the camera set up and I'll show you how to do this. All right, so here we go. Um, got it right here. Remember, this is the part we're working on. And I'm just going to put my hand in here and twist it counterclockwise. And it's on pretty secure because, you know, it keeps a waterproof seal in there. So give me a sec. And you turn it about a quarter turn and you should feel it become a little loose and then you just pop it off go get your sunglasses all right i took it off they're upstairs and then as you can see here here is the back of your headlamp and here's where it plugs in so if you give me a moment i'll get the camera set up and i'll show you how we take this part off all right so again we're working right in here right next to the washer fluid uh, dump so right here and I know it's kind of hard to see but you're going to push this button in here uh, let me get a better angle for the light there's a little button here you push that in and slide this down and pop that off uh, there you go. And it's separated. Then you twist it, pop it off, wide open. So now I'll show you next how to put the new one. Okay, so for the 2010 Forester, you're going to use H11. That's the size of the headlamp bulb. And I'm going to try out these Silver Star uh, Sylvanias. They're supposed to be pretty decent. Uh, Walmart, they were pretty cheap. And this is not a plug. Um, you don't have to go out and buy these. These are just the ones I'm installing. Now, real quick, when you take these out, you should either be wearing gloves or just be aware that, you know, the manufacturers say do not touch the glass. Uh, something about the oils in your fingers messes with the glass. Uh, maybe takes away from the life of it or something like that. Either way, I don't really feel like figuring that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put these back on. And yeah, let's get started. All right, so here's the bulb, the Sylvania H11. And, you know, make sure the gasket stays on when you go to put it in there. I know it sounds silly, but this has to be on there. All right, it keeps the seal. And, yeah, I mean, oops. You're just going to slide it in there, and then we'll click it into place. So, obviously, I have my glove on here. Um, let me get in my position. Actually, I'm not even going to use my glove. I'm just not going to touch the glass, all right? And in the comments, if you want to rip me, feel free. But you put it in, twist it. Mm, feel it going to place. It's snug. And then you just get your the terminal here, whatever you want to call this, your post. And you're just going to snap it back into place. 
and honestly you know you do you put it back in the same way you took it off guys nothing too fancy it's situated here here to click into place there you go you're all set all right and uh, that's really about it so let me just check one other thing um, yeah, so we got it here, and then all you do is you take this piece, remember that piece we took off, you always remember to put everything back that you took off. Alright, put that into place, turn it clockwise, everything gets turned clockwise to seal it up, guys, alright? Lefty loosey, righty tighty, if you already didn't know that, maybe you learned something new. All right, there you go. And you just feel it gets snug, and that's it. So now I'll show you how to do the other side. Uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so now for the passenger side, side light bulb, headlamp, you're gonna have to take this piece off, all right? So really not that hard. You just need a flathead screwdriver. You're gonna pop this off. You're gonna pop this off here, all right? And that should be good to go. Uh, there might be something down here. So I'm just gonna do this myself, and I'll be right back, all right? And if there's anything more than those things I just showed you, then I'll talk to you. I'll explain you how I did that. All right, so as you see here, I took it off. Um, and really, this is the only thing you really need to pay attention to when you put it back together. This part goes into your air box right here. Um, it slides right in. Uh, remember, it was just these two clamps, guys. You saw the quick time lapse. It really didn't take any time. And I'm not gonna show you uh, me doing this the second side the passenger side because if we did the one if you watch the first part of the video You'll know how to do this, but it's right here, right? Let's just take a look. Let me get a better lighting here Same thing lefty Lucy Pop that off Boom All right, we look in here can already see it. Let me get a better angle here for everyone. Right there uh, is your headlamp headlamp clip. You're gonna clip that off. You're gonna pop that off. You're gonna put the new bulb in, and you'll be all set. Um, here we go. I know it's hard to see, but this headlamp is on. That one always works, but I replaced it. And as you see here, this one is on as well. All right. So I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I uh, hope you guys are still enjoying your new year. I know it's going to be a really good one. I'm feeling good about 2020. So make sure you like, subscribe. And like I said, any questions, drop them in the comments. I hope this video helped, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.